And joining us now to talk about your health is Deborah Jones Shook, certified registered nurse practitioner at the University of Maryland St. Joseph Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining us. It is National Immunization Awareness Month. I'm thinking at this point in the pandemic, we're all really aware of immunizations and vaccinations, but what's the importance of this? Well, thank you for having me. Um, it's very important as we kind of have gone through COVID and we've seen surges of RSV and we had a pretty busy flu season last year. Um, it's very important that we all get our vaccines and immunizations updated so that we can not share uh, our diseases and we can take better care of ourselves and miss less time of work and school uh, that are important to all of us. What's new for this coming uh, flu season, winter season, in terms of maybe vaccine recommendations and, and what um, insurance providers, including Medicare, would cover? So there's, there's a couple of new things, and, and I know a lot of people are very confused. I know in my practice um, are calling about COVID boosters. So I think the newest kid on the block is RSV vaccine. Um, just came out, recommended for people who are 60 and older. Um, RSV is a virus that uh, generally in a healthy population affects you cognitive cold symptoms, sinuses, a couple of weeks of just kind of uncomfortableness. For, for people who are immunocompromised, who have lower respiratory issues, people older than 65, RSV can actually be deadly. Uh, it results in hospitalizations. It, the past year in the United States, RSV took the lives of about 10,000 people over the age of 65. So the RSV vaccine is now just hot off the press, readily available. Uh, there's manu two manufacturers. It's uh, greater than 87% um, protective. And um, it's available now at more of the big box pharmacies, Walmart, uh, Walgreens, uh, CVS. Um, so really anyone 60 and older who's immunocompromised should really get that new vaccine. Um, definitely will cut back on hospitalizations and mortality overall. Um, there is, we still have the COVID bivalent that we had before. So if you remember when we all got our first COVID vaccines, we got the monovalent, which was a two series, uh, unless you got the Janssen, which is no longer available in the US. Um, then the second booster that came out was a bivalent. That was a combination of the original monovalent um, plus the Omicron variant that we all struggled with last year when we had our last surge over the winter. Are, are we expecting, uh, you know, another uh, change of the uh, uh, the recipe this time? The recipe is changing. Uh, it's actually in the pipeline. Uh, it's actually in its. Uh, second uh, approval phase through the FDA. It should be available uh, in the fall. So we're thinking around November. Um, and that's another monovalent. Um, so that's not gonna include any of the old stuff we had. It's gonna be a recipe for what's out there now. Um, and that again will be recommended for people who are six and older. Um, and there's been some talk about the combination flu and COVID. Um, that's actually in phase two clinical trials. So Novavax is the company that's um, working on that. I don't anticipate that that would be approved or available um, really for this season at all, but it's coming, it's in the pipeline. So we'll have to keep our, our ears open. You know, for and, what's and, happening. And, as much as we all want this to just be over, um, you know, we're seeing the hospitalization numbers for COVID start to inch up. Um, mm -hmm. I, I have friends who managed to go through the whole pandemic and never get the thing until a couple of weeks ago. Are, are you seeing that in, in your exam room there? We are. I mean, we're, we're seeing, you know, we're seeing RSV, we're seeing COVID. We haven't seen any flu yet. Um, but I would really, you know, the emergency rooms are already just, they're crippled. You know, you'll talk to people, they're, people are waiting hours and hours. So it's just really important that people get vaccinated for flu. Um, it takes about two weeks to build the antibodies for immunity for flu. So usually September is a really good time to get started. Um, if you if meet the criteria for RSV, get it done. Um, you don't want to end up sitting in an emergency room. 
Um, COVID is, you know, we've got plenty of COVID cases. So if you've not had your bivalent, that's an important thing to get updated as well. Um, but we're definitely seeing it rise. You know, it's, we're going to spend some time inside soon, so it's important to make sure that we have good ventilation when we're gathering in groups. We wash our hands. If you have a cold, you sit out on that gathering um, and, you know, don't share with others. Um, the CDC has a great website on isolation quarantine as well. Um, if people aren't sure when they can kind of go back out if they did get COVID. Yeah, all a good argument for having a primary care provider, increasingly nurse practitioners, and having some sort of annual exam for a couple of reasons. One, you, you want to take care of this stuff before everybody gets sick, but it's so complicated, you sort of need somebody to tell you what to do. And I, I have time for just a couple of sentences on this. Yeah, it, it, it's really important. I think your primary care provider is going to keep you current on recommendations, not only for vaccines, but your screenings, your colon cancer screenings, your mammograms, breast cancer, prostate. They're going to keep your records up to date with your vaccines, um, really kind of keep your, your mental health in check, history, um, allergies, meds. So it's important you have that relationship. And then when you are sick, you're not going to end up in an urgent care, an emergency room. You're going to call your primary care, and they're going to help manage um, your symptoms. Afraid we have to um, leave it there. Deborah Jones Shook, uh, registered nurse practitioner, University of Maryland St. Joe's Medical Center. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Your health segments are a co-production of Maryland Public Television and the University of Maryland Medical System.